And so, I mean, you just don't look at people in their face and tell them, this is what I've done, and you have to take it like that. If it's not in line with the Constitution, they have the right to insist that you comply because they have the right and duty to defend the Constitution and the law. Now, with your experience searching through election petitions for that matter, yes. would an audit, as based on what we are confronted with now, be one of the corrective measures to, as it were, satisfy all of these concerns and answer all the questions about the provisional voters register as exhibited? Absolutely. Now, let me refer to Articles 296. Uh, 296. Exercise of discretionary power. Where in this constitution, or in any other law, discretionary power is vested in any person or authority, a, the discretionary power shall be deemed to imply a duty to be fair and candid. Is that an instance of fairness and candidness? I raise plausible uh, errors in the register. And you just Tell me what have affected the corrections. Not even or say most of them. And, and that should end the matter. And you say that's fair and candid. Anyway. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> let's look at another provision relating to the power of the Electoral Com Commission. Uh, 50, 51. The Electoral Commission shall, by constitutional instrument, make regulations for the effective performance of its functions under this constitution or any other law, and in particular, for the registration of voters, the conduct of public elections and referenda, including provision for voting by proxy. Their power is to make regulations for the effective performance of its functions. Now, what does efficacy, is, is that an effective way of conducting an election? A serious discrepancies are pointed out uh, by a commission which the public uh, doesn't trust much. I don't know much about all this. If I'm a lawyer, I don't have time for politics and all that. But what I do know from social media uh, is that people, uh, Afro Barometer says at least one third of the people. Yes country don't have trust in the East. And so that's about 30, 33%, I think. Yeah. In and I've read um, from social media that, I mean, from what they are saying, unless they are wrong, that the constitution is mostly comprised of politically exposed persons. I mean, in the first place, the person who exercises that power to be, if I mean, he is mindful of the requirement that the exercise of the power shall be fair and candid. You don't go and bring your stooges to run a national institution. Well, it is the president is, who appointed the, 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 these commissioners. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that their, their appointment, I mean, is in the first place, is fair and candid. If it is true that most of them are politically exposed. Is that a fair and candid way of... Uh, and, and should they themselves even accept those appointments? We are not serious. 
It can be serious, and that's why we are suffering so much. People just enjoy the power without looking at the constraints hedging the power around. That's the African mentality. That's what results in Napoleonic state capture, dictatorship of the type of Mussolini, Stalin, and others. Very amazing that this day and age, all this constitutional journey since 57, we can retrogress like this. Very painful indeed. And others, look, when I was retiring, a lecture was organized in my honor. At the end of it, I asked whether I could say a few words. I said, well, I can just say one or two. And I, I reiterated Article 1 plus 1, that at all times, everybody should be mindful of that provision, particularly judges. And that what would pain me is that some persons can choose that clause which enables them to come to power in the Constitution. And once in power, they seek to negate all the other provisions of the Constitution. And they will get people willing and ready to help them to do so. I couldn't continue. I said, thank you. I went and sat down. This is mm -hmm. where we are. 